Mr. Waka Waka, you just a Waka anyhow. Don't so scatter, scatter. One man way to like the trouble. Uh. Wise decisions are never made in anger. But it has been said, anger is a feeling that makes your mouth work faster than your mind. Welcome to another episode of The Altered One. Previously on the show, Ugo in a moment of anger and also to prove his strength to Femi and Ken, consumed a drink of which he had no knowledge of its contents. Unfortunately for Ugo, his uncle, the prof, also caught him in the action. I said get inside this car, now! Prof, good evening sir. Hold your useless greetings to yourself. I have been closely watching you and my nephew here for a long time now. And I heard almost everything you were saying. Wait, is that what you boys are doing around here? Smoking and drinking what to prove that you are a man? Who in the world taught you that rubbish anyway? I will come back to you later. And you, Ugo Chiku? Yes, sir. Uh... Wait, are you okay? Yeah, yes, yeah, sir. Hold on. Why are your eyes red like this? Why is it dull? Come here. What is your name? What did he drink? Hey, Ugo. Ugo. Is he okay? Ugo Chuku. Ugo Chuku. Ugo. What did you give him to drink? I'm asking you again. Prof, I, I, Lillian gave me. Lillian gave you what? Don't involve me in this matter. Oh. You. You, Lillian, bets of the same feather. If anything happens to this boy, hmm, I promise both of you, you won't like to hear half of what would happen to you. Wait, Ken, let me get this right. What were you planning to tell that man? Why did you mention my name to him? Babe, I, I'm sorry, I just panicked. Excuse me, you just panicked and said I gave you the drink. <laughs> hey! You are very foolish, show. What kind of men are in this school? Are you not supposed to be protecting me? Instead, you were lying against me. Lillian, I'm really sorry. Hold on. I'm not done. Who. The day I paid for that drink, do you remember what I told you? I said specifically, if anything happens to you, you day on your own. Who. Now, you want to frame me up for, for my own good deed to you, Abby? Thank you very much. Ah, uh ah. -uh. Where are you going now? I've apologized already. My dear, you are a very dangerous person to be close to. I would rather go far away from you before you hand me over to the police, telling them that I am one of those robbers that rob people around this area. I can't risk my freedom with you at all. The next day, Ugo is recovering on a hospital bed. Mom! What are you doing here? It's okay. Don't sit. You can lie down. I couldn't stay back when I heard you collapse unconsciously. Oh, God. Mom, who told you that? I didn't collapse unconsciously. Yes, you did. And I was the one that told her. Oh, go. What is going on? Oh. Is there anything I should know of? I'm worried. Mom, no. Don't be. Nothing is going on. I just, I mean, it was just a minor thing, and I'm already fine. Then what is this I hear about you hanging out with new and strange friends? Your uncle also told me your performance in school is dropping. Kuchuko, talk to me, I'm your mother. Mommy, that's not true. Oh yes, it is. Maybe you could let us know what brought you here too. Yes, dear. What did the doctor say about that? Mom, I'm okay. That's the most important thing, right? Oh, good. Exactly the person we hope to see. Ugo, you're already awake. That's very good. Thank you, Doc. We actually wanted to meet you. What happened to my son? I heard he just collapsed. Just like that. Mom, but I said I'm fine. My friend, would you allow the doctor to speak to your mother? And stop interrupting them. It's okay, sir. Madame, he's fine now. 
From the test we carried on him yesterday, we found an overdose of codeine in his system. Doctor, really? See, si, apparently, he took an overdose of cough syrup on an empty stomach, and the drug acted fast and left him unconscious. I don't understand a thing of what you just said now. I understand, madame. See, si, these days, youths find ways to keep themselves excited with these drugs, not realizing that these drugs have side effects. But see, si, there's no problem since we flushed the drug from his system now. Wait, are you saying Ugochuku took cough medicine and this made him faint? Oh, sister, that is not what the doctor is saying. Ugochuku took a drink that was mixed with high quantities of cough syrup. This syrup has the same effect as to when you smoke a weed or cigarette. What? Yes, exactly. What I have been trying to tell you all along. Ugochuku, what is the meaning of this? I'm sorry, mom. I didn't think of what I was doing when I took the drink. Uncle, you know I'm saying the truth. And you know what happened. Gochuko, I am disappointed in you. I trained you well. It's a pity you don't value it. Get strong quickly. Your father must visit you too. Doctor, well, I would uh, like to settle his hospital bill. Okay, come to my office. I'm coming with you too. Hi, now, wow. Prof just killed me. Eh? Why did he bring mom here now? Eh? And now she's going to tell dad too. Oh God, what kind of nightmare is this? My guys, my guys, how fun, huh? On a day, on a day. <laughs> I beg you, just help me roll one better MJ for there. But first, eh, give me that your mic, you lamb. Eh, correct. Oh, oh boy, this one make better sense. Ah, who you thought say you buy this one from again? Oh, my brother, you know Skido. Skido, guys, I be MJ well Ah, you know lie. You need to try well at this. God, man, then I can't pass it. I need to go far for life, oh. This street is not jungle, but uh, the guys are here also. You go make a move. Definitely. Oh boy. I see that girl when the form like saying her papa, they make all the money when they are Abuja. She gave that. She they hang around these days with your cousin. Oh. Ah, ah. Yeah. Bro. I mean, this is that babe now, your main chikalana. Oh, <laughs> Lillian. Hey, guys, eh, that girl, I tear past anything I don't see for this in my life. Um, oh. Yeah? <laughs> the girl, my tell self, don't even tell me, oh. Ah, guy. See, me, I don't go agree. I go just allow Kemi and carry your babe like that now. Nah. Small picky way be saying you, mom, since they blow your nose. Ah, me, I don't go agree, oh. Ross. That one no join no. Allow us make we dress this girl well. Guys, 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 I'm gonna I'm gonna calm down now. I don't be a fight for woman and I know me. This is uh, I guess okay important is what they run around for right now. Yeah, important things. Things like waiting. Ah, that that deal I be the tell now about now. See and guys, I'm gonna set well out because uh, the thing goes so happen now. Nah, eh. Look at that the bisha. Back in the hospital, Lillian visits Ugo. Oh, Ugo, look at what you did to yourself. What? What are you doing here? Who told you I'm here? I have my own ways of getting any information that I need. Besides, I'm not going to tell anyone if that's what you're bothered about. Yeah, right. Like how well you have been known to keeping things discreet. What are you doing here? Lillian, who sent you? Relax. Femi. Relax. Right? Relax. Uh-uh. No one sent me. I came to see you. I came to make sure you're all right. You came to see me? Yeah. For what? I mean, why do you care anyways? This is exactly what you and your cohorts are seeking for. No, they... no, I'm just here to... Oh, I get it now. They sent you to know if I woke up or not. Right? Well, you can see for yourself that I am all right. Come so on. run along and tell them. Stop, Ugo. Stop it, Joe. I came to see how you are doing. I am not doing this for anyone but myself. 
for yourself. Hmm, interesting. So, what has my stay in this hospital got to do with you? What? Eh? Answer me. What's your business with my stay here? Ugo, I know you may not expect this from me, but I was worried when I saw you taking that drink. And when I heard you were in the hospital, I, I felt really bad. Still, I don't see how this answered my question. Ugo, I think... I... I think I'm falling in love with you. <laughs> this is hilarious and crazy. Eh? You really must be drunk and crazy as well. Eh? You really should be the one lying on this hospital bed and not me. But to go, I'm here trying... Oh, please, get out of this room. And don't ever show your face here again. Just get out. Just a scatter, scatter. One man waiting like the trouble. Ah. It's what caused Lillian's outburst of emotion towards Ugo? Could she be faking it? Or was it real? What was Ugo's final response to her? Find these out in the next episode of The Altered One. This radio drama is brought to you by the 